there guys so it is Sunday and uh, we've got a few hours in between I uh, but in between the time I need to get our big boys over to church so the girls and I have gone out to try to raid Aldi now I will say we've got a whole lot of life changes getting ready to happen my husband graduates from his uh, the college program he's been doing for the last two years he graduates from that in six weeks and then he's gonna be back to being home a whole lot so I'll be able to do wonderful things again like once a month grocery shopping and have a freezer cooking day and just those, those those, those kind of things I need back in my life so right now along with you know running a business and homeschooling and doing all the the different things that I do he has a two-hour daily commute plus classes plus homework so that's all my disclaimers on that's all the stuff we have going on in our life right now and it's getting ready to change so that's exciting all that to say um, I'm doing a two-week grocery haul today but I am so excited to be able to get back to those once those monthly hauls and if you look back through my videos you know the last time I got big freezer cooking days done or got my big once a month grocery shopping haul done it was in the summer when he was home so I was thinking well that I don't have to feel guilty that's why I haven't gotten this done lately okay so for our meal plan for the next two weeks now in the next two weeks um, again a bunch of family stuff we got going on um, of course we have you know regular outside lessons what else going on I'm going on a trip I'm speaking at um, a homeschool conference out of state it's not too terribly far for us, but um, I'll be gone for a few days. I'm taking one of the kiddos with me for that. So just regular busy life stuff. Um, so we are going to have, we're doing shepherd's pie, if my phone cooperates. I'm doing those foil packet cheeseburgers, and I'm sticking with so many basics right now. I don't want to change too much up. Um, trying to keep it easy on myself. So at uh, tacos, chicken broccoli alfredo, meatloaf, I'm gonna do slow cooker baked potatoes. I haven't done those in a while. We're sticking with simple. We're having a chili weekend, a spaghetti weekend, a slow cooker pot, ro uh, pork roast, because I still have one of those in the freezer. Another big stock pot of chicken noodle soup. I did that this week and the kids just acted like they'd never had chicken noodle soup before. So I figured a week from now, I'll do that again. And then we'll have some leftover nights. And of course, breakfast for dinner nights in there if we need it. So that's my super. What I did was um, just my last meal plan on my last grocery shopping list. I just changed out a few recipes and I'm keeping everything else again. Super simple. I've got my grocery list here. Um, I think today I'm going to be going a little over $400 for two weeks. But again, family of nine, teenagers. We're actually now family of 10 since I am pregnant with baby number eight who just kicked me while I said that and uh, yeah so that's it so we're gonna go into Aldi um, I didn't see any spectacular meat specials on their app I also have a small Walmart list here um, so I need to go into Walmart for dog food and some things so we may also be going in there for meat and things we'll just we'll see how it goes Naomi's got hers now come here Amelia yeah, yeah. look here look you want to help pull it? There we go. Now it'll come back. There we go. Hey guys, so I am back from Aldi. The big news, what went down there? Let me find the end of my receipt here. I spent $336.61. So you can see that there. Um, I got everything there except for meat. I thought, oh, I'll have time to go into Walmart to get hamburger and chicken and dog food and cat food, some other things that I needed. And then once we got out of Aldi, got it loaded in the van, out in the van, and all of all that goes into that, I realized by the time we get home and I film this haul and I get my boys back to youth group tonight, there just wasn't enough time. So I'm gonna do the small run into Walmart either during youth group or after youth group. And again, I plan on getting, I need a bunch of ground beef for my recipes for the next two weeks. I need um, boneless, skinless chicken breast, and then I need to do part of our household haul, which I don't think I'm gonna film a separate household haul, but just say, and that's where I'm gonna, that's a separate budget and I'll get that, but I will show you. Um, and so with that, with the 336, I'll probably end up spending close to another $100 on meat that is in our grocery budget. So that would be a total of $436.61 approximately for our growing family of now 10 over two weeks and you know, all those meals and all those snacks. We work from home and school from home and eat from home and all those good things. Yes, honey? Um, can I call Sam 
Yes, yeah, go do that now. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, okay. I got 12 things of unsweetened applesauce. Applesauce is $1.89 a container. Daniel is just in a huge apple, he's saying it now, apple boss, apple boss. Okay, I just had to go hand out a container of applesauce. Once Daniel heard me saying applesauce, he started saying apple boss, apple boss. So, these, this is good for all the little kids, quick snacks, um, applesauce. Eggs were 47 cents a dozen. I got 12 dozen today. Milk was 208 a gallon, popped our little plastic there. I only got six because if you've noticed, I haven't had a grocery haul in the last few weeks. My husband has been doing like little one week quick hauls for me at Walmart. And we have five gallons left from his last haul. That isn't here on YouTube. So anyway, uh, I figured we'd get six more and that would be good. Um, still a fantastic deal on oranges. This is four pounds. They were $3.99 a pound. I got, let's see, looks like 16 pounds this week. Um, their pears are three pounds for $2.99. I got, looks like three bags of pears, two heads of lettuce, Cabbage, it was 69 cents for the cabbage. I got three pounds, six pounds total of these green apples. They were $2.99 for three pounds. I got six pounds total of red delicious apples. They were $2.99 a pound. Carrots were 59 cents a bag. So I got eight pounds of carrots. Celery, I think I'm pretty sure this was $1.19. Got two of these, they're good to have. I got these little mini peppers. This was one pound and they were $2.99 each. I got two packs of the two packs of green pepper, two packs of mushrooms. Um, the 10 pound bags of potatoes were $3.49 a bag. So for about seven bucks, I got 20 pounds of potatoes. We are gonna do shepherd's pie and then I'm also gonna do baked potatoes in the slow cooker. So I figured I needed those potatoes. For the bread, the bread that's over there, I got um, I got 12 loaves of bread. No, excuse me, let me look at my receipt here. 15 loaves of bread, 99 cents a loaf. For the pizzas, I got three of these. So we've got a sausage, we've got pepperoni, and a cheese. The cheese, big cheese was $4.99. These meat ones were $5.99. And the rest of the family are having these while we go to youth group tonight. Now, if you watch my hauls, you see I haven't bought these little yogurts in a while. They were only th 33 cents each. So I spent $21. I got $21 worth of yogurt. And we've already had some disappear, which is fine. Got four things of cottage cheese, $2.19 each. Got vanilla caramel coffee creamer and some stevia. And then uh, the cheese is $5.59 a bag, and that is for two pound bags. I got three of those. And then we just have more. We got blueberry and raspberry yogurts. I got Italian dressing for one night when I just throw my pork roast in the slow cooker. I'll have that. I got my garlic powder, onion powder, all my base spices, chili powder. Got some beef bouillon cubes chicken bouillon cubes, a thing of raisins, this was $2.19. Now my husband requested some snacky stuff, and you know, I can't really keep snacky stuff on hand, but I got a few days worth of snacky things. Um, so, and I got, this isn't what my husband was looking for, but I got prunes <laughs> to go along with the raisins, those are good. Got myself my coffee for $4.49. People have asked me how I liked Aldi's coffee, I like it just fine, it's $4.49 for this big 33 ounce container. Um, I got, for my husband's request, I got two things of cocktail peanuts, some mixed nuts, two boxes of saltine crackers. This is for when we do chili, that's 75 cents a box. Also, two packs again of these dried cranberries, two packs of banana chips, just quick uh, snacks for the kids. Two boxes of vanilla wafers. I actually got two boxes of these cheese crackers, but one has already gone out as a snack two boxes of animal crackers. And now, if you watch a lot of my hauls, you know I don't normally get a lot of cereal, but I know our schedule for the next two weeks. And I thought, I'm playing my mom's sanity card and I'm gonna get some cereal. I don't like doing cereal because, like you know, it's not really filling. I'd much rather get some protein in. So, we got it though, it'll go quick. And then honestly, you know, I still crave Raisin Bran at 11.30 at night sometimes. So because of my growing baby belly, 
And that's what I have. Um, I got, okay, so I got a case of mixed vegetables with the shepherd's pie in mind. Of course, we're not gonna use all these. We'll probably have at least six left. I got a whole case of the corn, whole case of taco shells because we will do Taco Tuesday every Tuesday for the next two weeks. A case of spaghetti sauce. I got the meat flavor. Two things of Parmesan cheese. These were $2.29 each. My Mom's Sanity Quick Emergency Box of Macaroni and Cheese. These are only $0.33 cents a box. And this is just the, the other side of the table view of my haul. So like I said, I'm going to still get meat tonight while I'm out. Um, and if you want to see those exact meat totals, plus the price breakdown of everything on my receipt in this haul, plus helpful links and more info on our meal plan for the next two weeks. I know some people like to hear about how we make carrot sticks, you know, doing hard boiled eggs as quick snacks, those kind of things. Usually our snacks are fruits and veggies. Um, with the yogurt, that will just be whenever we need it. So anyway, go over to largefamilytable.com. Uh, also over there right now, I have the beautiful home management binder kit, $12.99 value, and it's free. So if you guys go over there, there'll be a link for it below, and you can just sign on up and get that, and I'll have everything else over there. So running out the door, friends, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time with another brand new video. I'll say goodbye so you can see me. I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye. <laughs>